assure you, every one of you, that there is no place on earth where these criminals will hide. The outrage and anguish you all feel from reading this audit report is not only righteous, but also one that I personally feel. And now that the evidence related to the 6.2 billion is before us, I'm taking action. As I speak, over a dozen individuals suspected of committing the crimes exposed by this audit report have just been arrested by the Malay Police Service. So I want all of the thieves hiding in the civil service to mark my words. If the finger of evidence points to you as one of the thieves that stole COVID money for saving lives while well, hundreds of our people are dying of COVID, you are going to prison. On top of that, we will use the relevant laws to ensure that you pay back what you stole. Mubez, I have directed the Secretary to the President Cabinet, Mr. Zanga Zanga Jikosi, to interdict without pay those public officers on whose direct watch the financial mismanagement occurred. As for the Minister of Labor, who was named by the audit report as having spent COVID funds amounting to 613000 on his allowances for a foreign trip, I have dropped him from my cabinet accordingly. Even though the minister has since returned the money, his usage of the funds means that the money was unavailable for its intended purpose when it was needed most. And I cannot have in my cabinet any individuals who either spend money budgeted for one thing on something else or do not ask tough questions to ensure that the money they are spending on something was budgeted for that purpose. As far as I'm concerned, anyone who steals or wastes public funds is a traitor to this country. I pray. I pray that God's curse will rest on anyone who steals even one quatch of the public funds that God has entrusted us to use in serving Malawi. <laughs>